as we saw, DFA is almost the same as NFA or NDFA. But the only difference is in DIL, where a state can go to more than one state or can go to a file. Now we can convert an NFA to DFA. How we do so? Let's see this example. If we have this NFA or NDFA, a non-deterministic finite automata, okay? Two states with two alphabet, and they have the transition in here. How we can convert this to NFA? First of all, let's just create our transition table. And we said that in the leftmost I have, sorry, in the topmost we have the alphabet, on leftmost we have the sets. So if zeros, if zero processed by Q0, it will remain in Q0 and it will go to Q1. F1, then it will go to Q1. For Q1, zero, it will go to phi and 1 it will go to q0 and q1 now to convert the transition table or to convert this transition diagram i need to eliminate here going to more than one state and i need to ensure that a state will go to a state not to an empty state yeah so what we will do we will create another transition table and we will start one by one okay so here zero and one is my alphabet and we will take the first state which is q naught if zero goes to q naught then it will need to go to q naught and q one if one for it will go to q one now here i have a new state which is q naught and q1 so we will create a new state in here to know this new state how it will react to my alphabet then i will go to each state so if zero goes to q naught it will go to q0 q1 if zero goes to q1 it will go to phi so zero if entered in Q0 and Q1, it will go to Q0, Q1. F1, for 0, it will go to Q1. And for Q1, it will go to Q0 and Q1. And here is the processing of 1 for Q0, Q1. For Q1, we have the same. F0, then it will go to phi. F1, then it will go to Q0, Q1. Now here, I need to create another state, which is phi. So if 0 goes to phi, it will remain in the same place, and 1, it will remain in the same place. Now let's convert this transition diagram to state diagram. I have, but before this, let's just introduce where is my initial state and where is my accepted state. So Q0 is my initial state, and Q1 is my final state. In converting, whenever I have a Q1, then any Q1 will be as Q uh, as a final state. So here we have two final states. Now let's convert this to a state diagram. Here we have my states, which is Q0, Q0, Q1, Q1, and phi. Initial state, final state. And then we draw the transition here. Zero processing by Q0 will take me to Q0, Q1. And one will take me to Q1. Q0, Q1 processing by zero and one will remain in the same place. Q1 by zero, it will go to phi. And by one, it will go to Q0, Q1. And finally, phi processing zero and one will remain in its same place. Now, if you notice here, the number of sets is the power set of Q. Whenever I have a number of sets, then I need to create a state with the power set of Q. 
And here we came to the end of non-deterministic finite automata and you can just try or um, measure your understanding by solving those two questions. Uh, first one with the state diagram then you need to construct the transition table and draw find the corresponding DFA and here we have the transition table we need to draw the diagram and which strings ABA, BBB, BBA and ABB are accepted and the same in here as we did in DFA the language or the string is accepted by a machine if it's reached the accepting state or the final state. And here is the end of part two where we discuss about the finite state automata with no output, which are deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. And we saw that the difference between those two is in dull, which is the transition function. Hope you understand this part. See you in our next.